hydrogen is the key to efficiently using renewable energy. Fridia has developed highly efficient water electrolysis control technology that tracks maximum solar cell output and adjusts the number of electrolysis cells in operation accordingly. We've succeeded in converting 15% of solar energy collected in one day into hydrogen. The hydrogen generated is supplied to Japan's first renewables-powered mobile commercial hydrogen station. R&D is underway on the use of metal hydrides for the safe storage of hydrogen. Metal hydrides are alloys that can absorb 1,000 times their volume in hydrogen and desorb the hydrogen when heated. The alloy developed at Furia is safe as it does not ignite even after repeated absorption and desorption of hydrogen. We are studying energy systems that integrate these technologies with the goal of using hydrogen to supply electricity and heat to buildings and thereby reduce emissions to zero. Here is a demonstration system. Electricity from a 20 kilowatt solar cell panel powers an electrolyzer to efficiently produce hydrogen. The hydrogen is then stored in metal hydrides. The hydrogen can be desorbed when needed and converted to electricity using fuel cells. Short-term surplus electricity can be stored in batteries. The system uses tanks filled with metal hydrides. The metal hydrides developed by Furia are safe, non-hazardous materials and not composed of rare earth metals. Hydrogen, electricity and heat are controlled by a smart beams in an integrated manner. Hydrogen for uses such as in FCVs must be highly pure to be compressed at over 70 megapascals. Compression uses a lot of energy, almost one quarter of the hydrogen in the storage unit. This is a major obstacle for the widespread use of this energy system. Furia is developing a thermally driven hydrogen compression system using metal hydrides. Metal hydrides have unique properties. In experiments, their equilibrium pressure increased exponentially with increasing temperature and rose to 20 megapascals at 150 degrees Celsius. Commercial development of this metal hydride hydrogen compression system should result in a breakthrough in the use of hydrogen because it has no mechanical parts that require maintenance and it allows compression at relatively low energy conserving temperatures. サイエンス水素製造に関する研究開発を行っています。水電解、水素急増合金を使った水素貯蔵、燃料電池、蓄電池などの装置を組み合わせ、電気熱需要に合わせた運用を目指し、付加価値の高いシステムを開発します。さら